I think staying on that um, optimistic note, Barry, uh, we are figuring out how to meet our patients and their families where they are. It's always an ongoing discussion in healthcare and how can we bring the care to people to make it more accessible, more um, easy to digest, to navigate. And this is going to be a, another big part of that conversation because it's um, aging, Alzheimer's disease, uh, cognitive decline, all of that doesn't just happen to the patient. It, it happens to the families and the caretakers who are also caring for them. And what we see is that these caretakers are reaching out um, and participating and, you know, and telling us what they need. And so if we can continue to meet patients and their families where they are, to give them the care that they need, uh, I think we can eventually figure out how we can expand the access um, to make sure that more people who need the medications are able to get the medications and the appropriate diagnosis. Yeah, I'm a PhD scientist. I never touched a patient in my life, but um, but being at Hopkins, I am uh, participating in bio in in semi weekly meetings, where we're actually going over case reports and we're learning about the the individuals and their experiences and their care partners' experiences, and it is stunning to me to to see um, time and time again how. Um, amazing the situations are that lead people to come into a memory clinic how dreadfully stunning it is, they are uh, and how heterogeneous the disease is um, so um, these it's, this is extremely meaningful and important work that we're talking about and developing the strategies that we can actually begin to overcome some of this some of these problems so i just w have something that i want to say i'm excited about but first i want to talk about where I started, which was, you know, population level research and what all three of you have spoken about, which is the individual and um, the importance of um, informing everything we do at the population level with the real people, whether it be through, you know, community interactions, focus groups, registries, um, bringing these things together, which is kind of the beauty of this field that we all work in is that we all work in various fields um, and are contributing together to solve these problems. One, one thing that I'm super, I think I'm excited about, I think it has great potential, are um, new blood-based biomarkers. So why am I excited about them? Well, I think they, they, they address some of these issues we've been talking about. They have the potential to be low cost, to get Medicare to cover them and private insurers. Um, they have the potential to have wider access to individuals and meet, as Monique said, meet the individuals where they are um, rather than um, where only some people are. Um, so I'm really excited about where the future is going with these blood-based biomarkers that will help with detection, reduce underdiagnoses, and get people into these treatments where you're excited about and I am too, because these are just the first gen. And I think the next generation of these treatments are going to be very valuable to individuals in society.